Hey, Greg over at Campus Life. Uh, just about ready to get into uh, Quartzsite. Uh, we uh, need to get some laundry done and also got a hankering for uh, turkey avocado BLT on a sourdough French bread. Now we've got most of the fixings at the trailer house, um, except for we need some turkey and avocado. So I'm coming in to do that and at the same time Gonna get a load of laundry done. Wife's uh, back at the trailer right now, uh, kind of relaxing. And I uh, thought I'd bring you along. We just passed uh, where uh, the big tent's gonna be in the next month. They're already starting to bring in some of the coaches and uh, trailers. Uh, Tyson Wells, which right over here, I just kind of turn you. Uh, there's all the uh, tents and everything like that. Looks like there's some more going in. Um, it's going to get pretty busy from what I hear, and it looks like it. Uh, and now we are going over the top of I-10. Just about ready to come to Center and Main, or Main and Central, excuse me. In Quartzsite. So, this is actually pretty neat. It's only about four miles from where we're at. It doesn't take too awful long to get into town when we need to. Um, currently, right now, I just so you can have an idea, fuel right here, Union 76, um, is uh, 375 for regular unleaded and 413 for diesel. Um, that was right there. And uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of traffic. Some, uh, four-wheelers on the road and everything like that. Saw a bunch of them yesterday uh, pulling out of uh, the, um, the Post of South. They were heading on a little run. And uh, Okay, well, just getting here to where um, our uh, laundry place is. And, oh, I think, yes, weekends is starting to get busy. So we got quite a few people here, but I think I can actually still get in. So I am going to park, get the laundry, throw it in there, get her going. And then uh, when I get done, I will come back to you. We've all got the laundry in, the washer. Uh, it's set. I'm coming up, put our detergent away. Uh, now we only uh, just wash our laundry here. We actually have a clothes rack that we uh, hang them and dry them. Saves a few dollars on uh, laundry. Oops. Got to unlock. Yeah. There we go. Don't want to lose money, so. Take it out. Anyways, we got about uh, oh, like 23 minutes. Uh, before we're uh, done with laundry so I am going to go sit down somewhere relax and uh, uh, come back when we head to the store see you in a few well still waiting for uh, laundry to get done uh, probably about another 10 minutes um, but I was just sitting here watching something and I'm not going to video it because I'm not going to show who it was or anything like that. But uh, if you have an aggressive dog uh, with you, please um, park away from the entrance of the laundromat. Um, I watched as multiple people walked by as this gal had her dog on a leash and the dog lunged at him. Um, luckily, she was able to keep uh, the dog uh, from... Uh, getting too close to these people, but uh, there was a couple times that it uh, got interesting um, So this is just a PSA. I'm not gonna point at anybody or anything like that I'm just saying please, you know have respect for the other people park somewhere else um, They have carts that you can roll out to your car So you don't have to be right next to the entrance to uh, the laundromat um, Also you know, normally when we're here at the laundromat, uh, if it's early enough, 
because they close at 145. There's a restaurant that is attached to it. Um, they got some pretty good fries. I mean, we've had fries there. We haven't had any uh, lunches because normally we get there just before they're closing. Um, but uh, anyways, I just thought I'd uh, pop in and uh, give that PSA of please, please, if you've got an aggressive dog, you know, there's a big parking area um, to park to uh, keep her away from uh, the people walking in and out. So I'll be back with you in a minute or two. Or... Well, we got laundry done. Now we are going to go shopping. And, you know, I know, I'm pretty sure that uh, right across the street, there, Roadrunner Market, is the only one in town, but I kind of think, and I remember seeing something about another uh, store uh, besides uh, General Dollar and Family Dollar. So, I'm going to run this way real quick and take a look and uh, uh, come along. Uh, we just passed a Chevron. Um, over on, and they are. Oh, I can't see. There's something in the way. Several trailer parks, of course. I mean, uh, we've got uh, Coyote Fresh. Okay. That is the place I was looking for. We're going to go check it out. Kind of an interesting intersection. So, all right. It says it's got fresh chicken ribs, best meat in town. Uh oh, we'll find out. And it looks like they got uh, something going on up on the roof. Oh, they got water. Oh, I see it. I don't know if you can see it. There's water coming out of a pipe up there. Well, we're still gonna go check this out. So, be back in a sec. Well, I tell you what, that was actually a nice little store. I mean, it's a little bit smaller than uh, the Roadrunner uh, that's uh, down the way. But, um, really nice clean prices very comparable I mean they are more expensive here in Quartzsite of course but um, not bad so now it's time to head on back to uh, our house the trailer um, and uh, start to making some uh, turkey avocado BLTs. I tell you what, I told the gal behind the counter at the meat deli what I was making. Oh, she about drooled. I think she was going to have to slice herself a extra pound of uh, turkey uh, so she can make some. <laughs> Anyways. Just uh, trying this out, seeing how this is doing. I mean, if you guys like it, please leave some comments in the section below and uh let me know uh, but until then until the next time we meet until the next time i come and see you happy camping quartzsite arizona